Hey you, what is going on there YouTube? This is the Game Guy and today we are going to be going over the Palace Winter 19 or the Palace Winter Season Lookbook Preview, whatever you want to call it, their Winter Range, their Winter Lookbook, their Preview, whatever, that has been released today and this is also going to be the second upload of today or it will be the second upload of today following the Supreme video this morning. So, we are just going to get into this. I've not looked at anything to do with this except for the initial pictures they put out uh, that I saw and that was it. So, yeah, I've tried not to click on this. I've left it alone. I've not read the Palace section on the Discord group, which if you'd like to, the link is down below. So yeah, we're just going to get into this and see what they've got. A lot of the comments have been that this is going to be an insane season and it's going to be one of the best out of their last couple of seasons or couple of years. So I'm really looking forward to it, to be honest. So yeah. Okay, so obviously here we are. I'm also wearing my only like palace piece, uh, which is the palace, not a long sleeve, long sleeve. Also, I think I've grown since I've last worn it because before it used to go up to like like here on my hands sort of thing whereas now <laughs> uh, yeah I haven't worn it in a couple of months so that's gonna get some look uh, getting used to I think is the way to put it but yeah the logo is like on the left part of the chest but I've only worn it like four or five times to be honest it stayed in the cupboard uh, until the winter time but it's more like a summer piece to be honest but anyway palace uh winter 2019 range let's get into this and see what we've got okay um there's a lot if i click on things can i go through okay so i can go through one at a time sort of thing so we've got the sail jacket yellow you can never have enough jackets if you're single wow okay so that looks like i'd say it's embossed is it the way to put it on the back um not my sort of piece but i can see the appeal to it we then have the handy cord jacket in blue that looks pretty cool to be honest a couple of different colorways where they've changed the piece as well that does look cool. A Reacto Puff Zip Jacket, a Loft a Puffer Jard or Jard Fleece Jacket. That looks clean. That looks a lot like the Palace Polo collaboration as well. Like the sort of style of how it's laid out. That looks really clean. We've got a Stealth Jacket, we've got a Polotech piece, we've got a Stuff Jacket. This is the knit piece that I uh, remember seeing on the, like, the preview pictures or whatever that were put out. And it looks really cool and yeah it does look really like just clean overall that is a really cool piece big up looking like a hippie while still managing to wash your armpits wow okay palace just out here roasting people literally like they're really gonna do people like that like truly we then have the duck out knit which again i think is really cool this jumper goes 100 percent in my friend this jumper goes 100 percent in my friend okay well yeah it does. It looks really clean. It does look like a really cool piece, to be honest. I don't know what to say. They're dropping so many, like, uh, knit pieces or jumpers and things like that or crew necks. Personally, for me, I'm a massive fan of anything that is a crew neck jumper type item. So, yeah, they are really just ticking all the boxes here. We've got the stuff knit. Uh, someone needs to extend the weekend. Mondays are currently for dickheads. <laughs> okay. Lots of different colorways, or two different colorways, well. Uh, looks really clean, to be honest, yeah. Palace stuff, yeah, it looks clean. We've then got the toner knit again. That looks cool. Mad how 10 minutes sleep in the toilet at work can make you hungry again. I want to know who who does the sort of uh, little description for each item. I, they're just, they really do just do the best descriptions for items. But definitely, this piece, again, another really sick piece. We've got the quacked uh, shirt. Winter Palace is a peace splash moment. Yeah, it definitely is going to be a peace splash moment. My God. The whole quacked sort of theme, I guess you can call it, looks really clean across a lot of pieces. I just wanted to scroll through some other pieces just to look how they look in general. That logo on the back looks really clean as it's on the knit as well. But yeah, they're really going in this season. That is freaky on your eyes. The waved piece. This is good. Simple but a bit mashed. That really does affect my eyes to be honest. So I'm going to leave that be. We've got the 3000 shirt. You know what I understand. They've been to the year 3000 clearly. We've got the Specsavers shirt. <laughs> if you think about it. You need your eyes checked. Oh my god. 
They're great. They are absolutely great. I really do like uh, just doing anything random or anything at points. I like how it says palace. Let's try and see what else it says. What does it say after the palace thing? I wish I could read what that said afterwards, but I can't. So it's just a bit irritating. But yeah, there's that. We've got the ripe shirt. Eh. Um, quacked jean. Again, the quacked theme that they're going with. We've got a load of other joggers and things like that. We've got a P. Jura shell top. Shell out on the top. Bop to the shop. Cordura ripstop fabric. That looks clean. That colorway's a bit vivid, but the, the... Yeah, that looks really clean for a piece. They've got... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to say. There are so many pieces that are really decent that they're just hitting the nail on the head with completely. And we haven't even got to, like, the t-shirts or anything like that. So, yeah. We've got the Sidewinder hood. Again, looks quite clean. Different colorways. Actually, that does look quite cool in the white colorway. I was going to say other colorways won't be as good, but navy and black, definitely good. And then the white slash cream looks really clean in that as well. Uh, dip hoods, duck out hood as well. Again, looks really cool. Don't watch the palace jumper with the duck. Oh, <laughs> so they don't want you to get the palace jumper with the duck. Okay. That's the main piece that they're trying to get people to avoid then the person who's there. I'd definitely say that I'd go for the black colorway in this piece personally, but yeah, it's really cool. So we've got the laser lines piece, Italian ham is ham. Um, yeah, again, quite clean pieces to be honest. The moon tree hood. They've got the same sort of text or the same sort of textile as the Supreme piece uh, that was released on the tee, the cards or queen tee. Uh, that was released. It has that same sort of font style to it. But yeah, it looks quite clean to be honest. It looks quite cool. We then have the G's hood. Started from the bottom. Mid the beer. Okay. G's. That looks quite cool. To be honest. Yeah. I like how they do so many different variations of their like triferg and they add so many different things to it or do so many different things with it and so many different designs with it. I think it's really cool. We've got the linear triple fade hood. That looks cool. That looks really cool like that. Yeah, not not so much in the white I wouldn't say but I think that the darker navy colorway or maybe the blue as well but this dark like navy color that looks really sick in. We've then got a debossed uh, piece that they're releasing i don't know if people are so much a fan of like the whole debossed uh, pieces or embossed debossed however you want to put it uh pieces the colorways are okay i think it stands out quite well uh, definitely on the gray and then the green that they're going to drop it in which is somewhere here uh, i think it stands out quite well but overall it's not so much for me uh where are we now we're at the so far piece doesn't really do anything for me we've got the zip it funnel is okay roundhouse to the face crew neck that looks pretty cool the font style font choice and everything looks really clean what does it say going all the way across it it says something of excess leads to the palace of something so we'll find out what that says at some point i'm guessing but this looks really clean to be honest they're they're yeah they're doing an amazing job Genuinely. We've got the high sport crew. Again, so many crew necks and so many pieces. Colour choice, style and everything makes it look like a very old piece. Even though it's a new piece and design, it looks quite retro with it. So yeah, we've got the discus crew. Palace levels are always on to sup. You muppet, brilliant. Uh, this looks a lot like uh, the polo sort of logo look. Uh, but again... It's unique, it's different, and it does look quite cool. If that's embroidered as well, that'd be even better. So, yeah. Got the KO crew. That looks pretty cool as well. Yeah, they're, they're really doing a good job with it. We've got the top version of the Spec Saver piece. We've got the uh, logo piece of the Palace stuff on a long sleeve. We've got the Flat Stancy long sleeve. That looks pretty cool as well. I mean, just so many different graphics and so many different pieces. That is sick. <laughs> that is really cool yeah genuinely that is a really cool long sleeve i think in gray maybe just even any colorway to be honest that looks really cool next up we've got the pair of hippies long sleeve 
Again, different piece, looks cool. Standard pocket, long sleeve, eh, we'll move ahead. We've got the Flaming P football jersey, which looks really cool. Again, really good job, like, yeah. I don't know what else to say. We've got the Palace London, that looks so much like the, what is it? Like the uh, Coca-Cola, you know, design sort of thing to it. But again, it looks cool. Super Palace t-shirt. Can't see it too well what the graphic is, but again, I'm sure it's going to be decent. So I think we're finally on to the T's now. So we've got the large up T. It's okay. Uh, it's a different graphic. So yeah, we've got the Puck You Sir t-shirt. I will need to pick that up. That is that is pretty cool. Uh, probably in the black colorway. That's probably one of the best ones. Uh, the grey, it also works quite well with. But yeah, that's a cool piece. Uh, same as the other handy piece they're going to be releasing. We've got it on a tee as well, where all of the colours are changed as well. Uh, the white or black colourway are probably the best across from that. And that looks cool again. We've got the Celebrity Love Triangle. I remember seeing someone post this graphic uh, somewhere. But I can't remember where it was. But yeah, that'll probably be a piece that will still fly as well. We've got the Corn tee. Wow, that is insane. So you've got a unicorn uh, shooting lightning uh, out of its horn. There is not much else to say. That is that is cool. I'm going in deep on this fried chicken. Well, it looks sick. Yeah, that is insane. Black colorway for sure. I think in that piece I'd definitely pick up. Maybe even the navy because they do change some of the colors depending on the color of it, which is cool. So yeah, that's insane. Oh, okay. They just want to mess with your eyes here. So I see the logo, but I also get my eyes destroyed by looking at it. Uh, we've got the U-Figure T. That looks cool as well. Nice, different graphic. Too many goofball skate companies in the world. Okay, so moving on to their hats and things like that. We've got a couple of different pieces that they're going to be releasing. We've got a bucket hat. We've got another bucket hat. Just looking to see if there's anything that stands out for me. Personally across the hats that looks pretty cool But that isn't what I am looking for. That's the like palace stuff logo that they're using We've got the duck six panel That looks pretty cool. I wonder what colorway would be best white natural looks cool in that But to be honest this blue looks really clean in that flaming six panel as well. That is again amazing also the text on the back amazing We've got a flap about beanie. I think I've already got one of these from Supreme. But again, this looks cool. It's clean. It's simple. We've got a duck out beanie as well, which again is cool. 99% I had to rush this description. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, so here's what it says. The road of excess leads to the palace of wisdom. So that is what it says across a couple of the pieces this season. So that is pretty cool. Definitely the blue colorway. Then again, the white, any colorway. I think the blue stands out quite well for this and looks quite clean. So yeah, flame grill beanie. They're going on about Italians a lot in the descriptions for this whole like <laughs> whole like range of items that they've released. But that looks pretty cool as well. The pocket beanie. Supreme did this with one of the Lacoste hats recently or six panels. And I'm guessing a lot of people are going to do it a lot now. Yeah, actually handy. But they said they did like beanies, so... I don't trust the description person now. They said they didn't like beanies. Now they're saying they're useful because it's got a pocket. P-Link beanie. I mean, it's just the Palace Link beanie. Stuff knit. It's the Palace stuff. Another logo, the Razor Stripe. One Up beanie. Looks okay. Chainer beanie. Is right. Not the greatest. AZ beanie. Same as the knit piece that they're releasing. It looks quite cool. 360 beanie so it's palace going all the way around now we're on to some of the other pieces the duck out sock yeah okay i'm gonna have to pick up a pair of these for sure uh definitely the black colorway i'm gonna have to pick up a pair in we've got the stuff sock no no duck the duck out sock is the one piece instead palace driving shoe in cream colorway so they're releasing some loafers basically i mean they look cool as well and they're releasing these this sort of style design across a load of pieces so we've got a tote bag then we've got a wash bag i could do with a new wash bag i mean i've got a nike or nike one at the moment but yeah i've got a card holder again some pretty useful things a belt 
people are definitely going to pick this up 100% they're going to be going for that We've got a pharaoh necklace that looks pretty cool 22 karat gold plated that looks really cool the detail to that's insane moving on we've got an umbrella where's the umbrella oh. <laughs> I just see a palace logo floaty in the middle of the air I don't see the umbrella no I can't that's terrible um, it looks really cool I've wanted an umbrella like this uh, because I've got the supreme one somewhere uh, that I picked up from spring summer 18 I believe it was um, but I've always wanted the supreme sort of long one that you that has like the hook to it at the top so you can hook it on things uh, I've always wanted to have that one, but its price is a bit stupid So hopefully if this hasn't got a ridiculous price, I will pick it up We've then got some oh, okay. So we've got some Titleist Pro V1 golf balls. I actually know a guy with three balls. Okay uh, It's got a bulldog on it playing golf uh, I think that's a bulldog or pit bull playing golf, but yeah, I'll probably pick them up Titleist balls aren't exactly cheap just as a thing so I don't know what they're going to charge for these Supreme with the Wilson tennis balls charge like I think it was 18 or 26 pounds so we'll have to see what they charge for these to be honest maybe they charge less than that I think it's like 12 or 16 but yeah um, it looks quite cool or they look quite cool to be honest comes in a cool box definitely trying to mimic like that polo look but uh, I'll ride with it I'll go with it to be honest but yeah tightless golf balls I'd, I'd pick them up and keep them We've got a weed bulldog ashtray, so it is a bulldog. Looks quite cool. We've got the triferg ashtray, which people will probably be going for. Triferg tray. We've got a bangle pin. Los Angeles, Tokyo, London, New York, Palace. Yeah. We've got the ping key ring. Blackberries are still better for texting. It looks cool. I've got a load of key rings as well, so I could do with picking up another, I guess. We've got the sticker pack, which I'll definitely be going and picking up straight away. And then we move on to the boards. So we've got the Brady Pro. So we've got, what, a smashed phone and smashed laptops and TVs and things with vines over them. Uh, the same sort of thing, again, going on there. We've got two faces on an animal and then some house and tree, which is Fairfax. That looks cool. This sort of galaxy stuff. We've got the Rory Pro. I like just a massive mismatch or mix of items going together. So that stands out for me. <laughs> We've got the Lucas Pro. That looks that looks quite cool to be honest. The Clark Pro. The Chewy Pro. The Duck. That looks like it could do quite well to be honest. Definitely. We've got the Stein 8.1 looks quite cool again their skateboard designs are really cool and really unique oh we've got the unicorn though has it got no eyes or is that me it doesn't look like it's got any eyes but yeah we've got the unicorn piece as well and that is all of the skateboards so that is the palace winter 2019 range genuinely after looking over everything it looks sick it looks like it's going to be a really good palace season i'm definitely going to be picking up one or two pieces probably the duck knit then i'd say on the side of tees i'd probably say that either the puck user tee or the corn t-shirt or tee uh, a pair of the socks definitely the duck out socks possibly the duck out beanie and then the umbrella uh, the golf balls and the sticker pack so Depending on what they release for their first week, I might be getting quite a couple of pieces. Obviously the sticker pack, if any of the others release, I'll have to make a decision as to what I want to go for. But that is going to cover this video going over it or go through the pieces that I wanted to look at. Uh, if you want to look at this, it will be linked in the comment section down below in my pinned comment. But yeah, in general, it looks quite cool. Everything just looks great. And I think, yeah, as people have said, it'll be a really, really good palace season as it is pretty amazing, to be honest. Like, it is genuinely amazing. They've got, like, a ton of just great pieces releasing. So, that is going to cover this video. If you enjoyed, like, be much appreciated. As per norm, let me know your thoughts down below. What pieces you like, what pieces you don't like, what you think of their season as a whole. Because for me, personally, this looks pretty insane. Uh, in comparison to, like, the Supreme lookbooks and things, I'd say that this Palace one is probably one of the stronger lookbooks to come out from, like, between Supreme and Palace. This one is the stronger one to come out this year by a long shot across all of the seasons. And in the last couple of seasons where I've been looking at Palace anyway between their like split like full winter or split spring summer uh, seasons. This is definitely one of the strongest that I've seen. So yeah, 
that is going to cover this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you uh, for the next Palace video. It will be on Friday probably or if I do any sort of drop list. I'll see you for them this week, which I will do obviously. Probably for Supreme and Palace. So yeah, I'll see you all next time. Peace.